Welcome to another edition of uh, Digital Dialogue by Maritime Gateway. Today we have a guest with us, Mr. Ram Mohan Reddy, who is the Development Commissioner at Visakhapatnam SEZ. Mr. Ram Mohan Reddy is an IFS officer and a top level government official with 32 years of civil service experience. He is currently deputed as Development Commissioner at Visakhapatnam Special Economic Zone. His earlier deputation was as Chief Conservator of Forest in Wildlife Wing of Himachal Pradesh, where he was the Member Secretary, Himachal Pradesh Zoo Conservation Society. He has trained State Forest Service officers from various states of the country and has extensive experience in bridging the gap between government and public. He has been instrumental in transforming government policies into successful execution with focus on public welfare. Welcome to our show, Mr. Ramohan Redigaru. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, now you are the development commissioner for Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and uh, Chhattisgarh for the special economic zones. So can you give us an insight into how is the SAZ development in these three regions that you are uh, managing? Just to give you a brief about the special economic zones. The first special economic zone was started in Kandla in 1965, which was inaugurated by the then Honorable Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri. Later on, the SCJ started coming up in the entire country. And Vishakhapatnam special economic zone is the youngest and was the seventh one to be set up in the country in 1989. That is almost after 24 years of the first SCJ was set up in the country. And the Vishakhapatnam Special Economic Zone started its existence uh, in the name of Vishakhapatnam Export Processing Zone. It was uh, set up over an area of 360.5 acres at Vishakhapatnam, about 20 kilometers from Vishakhapatnam capital city and very close to Duwada railway station. Actually, later on, uh, the export processing zones have been converted into special economic zones with the promulgation of the SCZ Act in 2005 and SCZ Rules in 2006. With that, uh, earlier it used to be only in the government sector, that is, Government of India used to set up SCZ. Thereafter, this has been extended to the state government run SCZs and also private SCZs. So, our VSCZ has been made a zonal uh, special economic zone with its jurisdiction over three states, AP, Telangana and Chetti state, and also the Union Territory, Yanam. Though we don't have much uh, activity in Yanam due to various reasons, and also similarly in Chetti state, where the special economic zones have not been shown much interest due to various reasons. The most happening states under VSCZ are AP and Telangana. As far as Telangana is concerned, it is highly happening state for the IT and ITES, that is information technology and information technology enabled services. Similarly, if you look at Andhra Pradesh, it's basically the merchandise sector which is taking up heavily in Andhra Pradesh. If you look at, there are uh, 36 SCJs in Telangana and 24 in Andhra Pradesh and one in Chhattisgarh, out of total 61. And similarly, if you look at an SCZ will have some units. If you look at in VSCZ, there are 61 SCZs comprising of 526 units. If you just have a breakup of these units in the states, you have got uh, 366 units operational in Telangana and 159 in Andhra Pradesh and one in Chhattisgarh. So if you look at again uh, the breakup, so there are more number of IT units in Telangana, like 323. And there are only 37 units in Andhra Pradesh. And if you come to the merchandise part, where actually the tangible products are made, whereas in the IT, ITS sector, no tangible product is made, only services are made, softwares are developed, and software services are given to the countries abroad, all over the world. So if you come to the merchandise part, the Telangana has got meager of 43 units, whereas Andhra Pradesh has got 122 units. And because, as you know, that IT sector gives a lot of employment, in Telangana, you got 
say uh, 73% of the units are located in Telangana and 26 in Andhra Pradesh. That I am con- uh, break, giving breakup in terms of percentage. And if you look at the employment, 83% of the employment is generated in Telangana and 17% in Andhra Pradesh. Because IT sector, like if you just look at an example, Infosys, it employs more than 26,000 employees. If you look at a merchandise sector in Andhra Pradesh, even the biggest what we consider brandix employs only 19,000. The biggest what we consider. And if you come to the investment part, both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana are on par. Like in Andhra Pradesh, it is 46% and Telangana is 54%. Out of total, 64,148 crores of investment being pumped into SCJs. And if you look at the exports, 80% of the exports come from Telangana and 20% from Andhra Pradesh. Because as you know that IT, ITS sector contributes a lot to the exports. is to the tune of almost 69% of the total exports. This is all about uh, the SCJs, what I can say. Very uh, interesting uh, profile and insights into the SEZ development across these three regions. We will get into the details a uh, uh, little bit later. Let me first talk about uh, Visakhapatnam SEZ uh, per se itself. So I understand that recently uh, VSEZ uh, has celebrated the uh, 32nd Zone Formation Day. And, and uh, you have been there uh, at the helm of FIRS, I think, for the last two, three years. What happened in the last two, three years? Uh, how was the growth and uh, what are the developments that happened? Uh, I'm very happy and proud to share that we have celebrated our 32nd June Formation Day on 15th March 2021. As rightly pointed out by you, I've been here at the Elm of the Affairs for the past just more than two years. I joined as Development Commissioner at Vishakhapatnam on 11th of March 2019. So exactly I've completed two years. And uh, we are very proud to announce that in the last two, three years, our contribution has been amazingly achievable. It's very, very difficult to achieve such kind of results in just two years. Like uh, in 2018-19, that's at the end of 2019 when I joined, the exports were to the tune of 74,747 crores in just one year when Corona has not yet started its influence on us in 2019-20, on March 2020, our exports touched 96,886 crores. That means in just one year of my career at VSCJ, we could see or touch the growth rate of 32.79%. And now, after that, all of we know that the Corona had a very bad impact on all the industry countrywide, worldwide, statewide, it has not spared any sector in the globe. And of course, fortunately, we struggled and we could still achieve a growth during 2020-21 also. You will be surprised to know that this is a year of pride for us, where we have crossed the 1 trillion rupees mark of exports. And at the end of March, I got the latest figures online with me. And we have achieved exports to the tuna of rupees 1,5868 crores. This is equivalent to 14.8% growth in just one year during Corona, when it was in peak. Whereas uh, I don't say it uh, that way, but still, just to give you a comparative figure, uh, the whole of SCJs in the country put together has recorded a growth of minus 1.26%. But VSCZ has recorded a growth of 14.8%. So that way, I'm very happy to share this to you. And in the last two years, as told by you, we have achieved a growth of 41.2% in just two years. Starting from 1st April 2019 to 31st March 2021, that's exactly two years. And our growth has been phenomenal. And we have achieved a growth of 41 41.2%. That's a really uh, amazing uh, achievement. Uh, I should compliment you. While the whole world is uh, reeling under uh, this pandemic, uh, it is heartening to know that uh, VSE is, uh, uh, has progressed uh, well, showing uh, the record uh, growth rates. But, but can you give me an insight in uh, what actually contributed uh, to this uh, growth? Uh, which, which were the factors that uh, drove this growth? 
I strongly believe that there is no shortcut to success. During uh, Corona, though all my office staff were kept away from the offices, but we were always working. I was always attending the office even the, during those days. And fortunately, if you look at uh, the sectoral distribution of industries under VSCJ, 69% of the contribution to the exports come from ITITS and 19% comes from chemical and pharmaceutical. Rest 4% from food and similarly engineering products 1.23%. The total, if you look at more than 91% uh, comes from all these four sectors which have recorded all positive growth. As you know that the corona could not touch us in IT sector as all the persons who are working from home and they were providing all services to the US, IT, IT, etc. to all the countries abroad, they were working from home. And we have facilitated them by relaxing the rules, providing them permission to carry their systems to their homes and start working from there. And that has happened when the 15th April started, all the industries were closed, our units started operating again. And similarly, there was luckily an exemption for the pharmaceutical units and industries, pharmaceutical SCJs. We had an exemption that after following standard operating procedures of uh, Corona and uh, these dis social distancing and other things, we have quickly started our uh, pharma SCJs within next one week to 10 days, we have started all our uh, units. So we got some exemption for food and other things. So that way, we had coffee, uh, SCJ at, uh, say, uh, Indus in coffee is there, Indus coffee is there, and we have got continental coffee is there. There are certain coffee which was being exported even during Corona also. So these things firstly saved us, and our quick action to restart has helped us a lot. And all our customs officers were always available at the SCJ to clear the exports, and we coordinated with the ministries to Ministry of Commerce and Ministry of External Affairs and Ministry of Home and Ministry of Pharma to get permissions for export of pharmaceutical products. As everybody knew that there was a lot of demand for hydroxychloroquine uh, at that time. Fortunately, we had two, three units which were making hydroxychloroquine under VSCJ. One out of that was Loras Labs. And luckily, after coordinating with the uh, Ministry of Pharma, we have exported more than 11.47 million hydroxychloroquine to various countries, including USA, then um, uh, Malawi, South Africa, and Singapore. We have uh, exported by air. We have airlifted all these things. And secondly, the best motto of our VSCJ is that you do your business, we take care of the rest. We very scrupulously follow this motto and we allowed the people to do their business and we have always facilitated them. Second one is the ease of doing business that helped them a lot. And almost we cleared all the requirements of the units during lockdown also working from home. That time, now we have got certain timings from 9.30 to 5.30. That time we had no timing. We were working around the clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock we were working and we were providing approvals. We were allowing all the units to operate by taking feedback from them, how many employees will be working, after giving written approvals for them to restart their operations. Uh, that way we have made all 489 units operational within just 15 days of the lockdown out of 526 units operation. I believe all these things and the complete teamwork of the VSCJ that includes the customs officers, our VSCJ team, our ADCs, JDC, DDC, all our team, we were very, very synchronously we worked to help the units and that way we could achieve. It's one zone in the country that has recorded a positive growth. Just to tell you, there are seven zones in the country starting from North. If you start from Noida, Kandla, then come to Cochin, then Chennai, we call it Mumbai, Seeps, we call it Falta, Kolkata is there. So just you can uh, scan through the records of the NSTL, which is the data maintaining agency of uh, Department of Commerce. You will see that Vishakhapatnam has recorded positive in both merchandise and services. This was all possible due to hardware, nothing else. 
okay if any entrepreneur uh, wants to set up an uh, export uh, facility what is the process and uh, in all the three states uh, till there is some scope for the uh, export uh, units to come there is a lot of scope and we have been giving uh, approvals for the units and just to tell you last year when corona was not there 2019 20 we have approved 90 units in just one year it was the highest figure again in the history of vscj and during corona also we have uh, accorded approvals for 17 new units to be set up under scj and seven export oriented units were approved and almost eight units asked for expansion whereas people think that all the units are closing down they asked for expansion and we have approved even the expansions also tell you come to us and give a simple application and we'll tell you we don't require much very simple pan card aadhar card your company name registered with gsc certain formalities you uh, just if you are coming to government of india we will we will give you built up space or we will give you give you a open space or if you are going to a private scj we will ask you to get an allotment letter from the private scj if you are approaching tsic or apic we will ask they are called the developers and we ask the unit please procure one noc and allotment letter from them that they are ready to give you the space with that we'll ask them to submit a project report and within one month i assure you even below that time we will give you an approval over single window clearance all the offices meet together once in a month that is called unit approval committee meeting where all the important department representatives will be present the matter will be discussed there and the unit will present their proposals and our only requirement is that you should be capable of generating some employment and showing exports and capable of earning net foreign exchange we are interested in earning net foreign exchange for the nation that's why we are here scj sir and similarly we have to generate employment i tell you under vscj the employment generated today is 393000 this is the direct employment who are on on roles of the units and indirect employment will be almost 2 to 2.1 times of this one our job is to build up infrastructure in the area to contribute to the overall development and create some economic activity after it it services and pharma which are the uh, most promising uh, export units that that coming up in your knowledge that is one second how is the connectivity logistics part of it for the se existing scjs yeah mr ravi actually all the scjs are set up first looking at the logistics only like if you look at we are very close to the airports here airport as well as sea port and are well connected by railway lines and it is the case with all the scjs other than it its they can work from anywhere and they can contribute to the foreign exchange and uh, that way uh messages are set up the scenario has totally changed prior to the corona pandemic the sectors were we had uh, apparel sector it was quite promising brandix was doing extremely well and then we had apache it was making uh, adidas shoes it was also very promising we had leather industries they were promising and we have got uh, diamonds worldwide diamond and other sorting manufacturing then polishing then doing job work they are all very promising we got very very outstanding scj uh, our scj is there in, even in gmr airport they are uh, providing services for the mro maintenance repair and overhauling of the uh, flights which are coming from abroad see basically wherever is an scj it's meant for earning foreign exchange so all the things which are coming from foreign they are service we don't cater to the domestic territory or you can say local market so these were all promising now during pandemic you can see that the promising were only four which have saved us uh, from a, an, an embarrassing situation in terms of exports going forward i mean you have achieved a very wonderful uh, growth rates uh, at these scs uh, so going forward what is your vision for this uh, sagapatnam scs we Uh, at the beginning of the corona event 
we projected and i assured that we will definitely achieve 12% minimum growth and today i am proud to say that we have achieved 14.8% growth i still promise that we will achieve next year this year also and if the things improve this second wave third wave of corona doesn't affect already you know that many states more than six states have been affected badly and india is recording a uh, reporting of more than 70000 corona cases every day and i don't know how the things will go further but still we are very hopeful that at scjs we have got a great discipline because scjs are specially delineated zones we are bounded by compound wall secured gates infrastructure inside we provide all facilities to them at very very affordable prices we provide security we provide roads we provide water we provide electricity everything at very affordable prices in the scj and even etp see affluent treatment plants are there and uh, we are allowing them to go for solar plants also their own power generation plants they are there so with all these facilities the scjs can still uh, outperform even if the corona is affected because we are working in a very very controlled environment so every entry inside the scj is recorded every entry going outside is scj is recorded and the best part of scj is that there is least interference of the officers from the local administration everything goes by self declaration and only sample checking is done what are you exporting and once you export something from here it will be checked up only in the airport or the seaport and when it is coming also it will be checked up only in the seaport and scj and uh, similarly uh, so our officers are very very cooperative and that way entrepreneurs who are coming to the scj they are facilitated so much that uh, there is no uh, routine checks and similarly no uh, labor activity like unionism is not permitted inside the scj i am very proud to say in two years of my time here not even a single uh, kind of strike hartal lockout has taken place despite there are 526 units operational here so that way i hope that scjs will continue to contribute and i tell you all the scjs of the country contributed last year to the tune of 7.86 lakh crore out of 21.3 lakh crore exports from the whole country that means scjs are contributing to one third of the exports from the country so we are saving a lot of Uh, foreign exchange earning lot of foreign exchange for the country our only criteria will be we will review your performance after 5 years and if you are achieving foreign exchange that means you are importing something and exporting something if your your exports are more than imports we welcome you you start doing work with us and don't expect that we will cater to the local markets that's not encouraged here we are here to encourage our exports and build our image in the whole of the globe and maintain the balance of the debt payment and attract foreign investment inside the country and provide lot of employment to the country man or uh, bringing awareness among our country entrepreneurs that there is something like scj because most of the people they do not understand the concept of the scj they don't distinguish between an industry and scj so they very vaguely use whenever an industrial area is coming up they'll see and scj is being set up but in scj you have the privilege of importing everything without paying any taxes you can import everything from the local markets you are not charged with gst if you are using diesel excise duty is not charged you are given so many benefits in scj only to encourage the entrepreneurs to earn the foreign exchange for the nation we welcome all the entrepreneurs to scj and we assure you that within one month we will make your unit operation on that note uh, mr ramohan reddy garu thank you very much for joining with us today and uh, sharing lot of insights into the existing scjs the operations uh, how they have been growing and uh, the future demand uh, that is exists uh, in this uh, uh, sector thank you very much we wish you all the best to achieve the desired uh, results uh, in the coming years thank you ram prasad garu Thank you very much. Thank you very much sir.